What's up YouTube? This is Lizard to one here. And today, Wednesday, September 22nd, 2010, Snowbeast 2.2.0 has been released. Now this is a jailbreak for iOS 4.1 devices, iPod Touch 2G, MC and MB, iPhone 3G, iPhone 3GS, new and old boot ROMs, MC and MB models. Uh, it also sat on the list iPod Touch 1G, but that makes no sense whatsoever because I can't run iOS 4. Uh, but it does not work for the iPhone 4, the iPod Touch 4G, and the iPad, unfortunately. Now, to prove you to prove to you that I am running iOS 4.1 right now, there is Game Center for you guys. Let's uh, get my finger on it. I'll just wait for it to load up to prove to you that it is indeed Game Center for real. Loading. Come on. Come on, Game Center. All right, there we go. There's me, Dan J. Stein. That's my gaming tag. If you want to add me. And I'll also go into settings, uh, general, about, and there's 4.1 right there, and there's my model, which is an MB model. So, sorry for the less than professional video. You guys know my quality of videos. I usually have a screen recording, and that's how I make my videos. However, I do not have screen capture software for Windows, because I am using my MacBook Pro here, but, um... Uh, this is my bootcamp partition, so I don't have a screen recording software. So you have to make do with this, but you guys can get the idea. So without further ado, let's get right on into this. Okay guys, so there are a few things you need for this jailbreak. Number one is your iPod Touch or iPhone, which I have here with me right now. Proof to you that I didn't change it in the cut, there's still Game Center right there. Same iPod. You also need your 30 pin USB dock connect. Dock connector cable thing and Snowbreeze 2.2 and you may need Safari 5 this is because for some reason Internet Explorer has problems saving .ipsw files it saves them as .zip we don't want .zip .zip is not going to work and simply changing the extension from .zip to .ipsw will not work I know I've tried so you need Safari 5 to download the IPSW, so it saves as an IPSW. So now let's go on ahead and launch Snowbreeze. So I put mine in my downloads folder, so I'm just going to locate that now for you guys. And there we go, Snowbreeze. Snowbreeze V 2.0. I'm going to angle this down for you guys here. Windows prompts you for that thing, just click OK, whatever it is. And I'm going to click that next arrow. For me, I'm going to click Expert Mode. So now I'm going to browse for that IPSW file. I put mine in my download, so I'm going to go up there. And there it is, up there. And down here, I'm just going to click Open. It's going to say Processing. OK, now this is going to say, if your iPod is a second gen, is an MB or MC model, you can, own, you can find out by going to settings are all about, blah, blah, blah. If you're MB, uh, you will be untethered, no PC needed to boot, if you guys don't know what that means. If you are MC, you will be tethered, so you will need a PC to boot. Just to notice, if you are MC and specify MB, your iPod will go into a DFU loop. So for me, I'm going to click MB, because I'm an MB model. So it says iOS 4.1 IPSW verified, and I'm going to click the next arrow. All right, now this is some stuff that you can customize here. So I'm going to click General, then click the arrow. And I do not need to activate the phone because this is not an iPhone. I want to enable, I don't want to enable background wallpaper. I do want battery percentage. I do want multitasking. And I don't need that, and I don't need any of those. Okay, so next, don't need that. I don't want a custom boot logo or custom recovery mogo so I uncheck those and now I'm just gonna hit build IPSW and then click the next arrow this may take a while OK, 
Okay, so once it has finished that, it comes up is if is your iPod Touch 2G already jailbroken? And you're simply going to hit whatever it is. And for me, no, it is not jailbroken. So you want to make sure your device has been plugged in and like I said, backed up. And you're simply going to slide to power off. Just like so. Okay. Now on the bottom here, I'm going to hit start. Prepare to press the home and power in five, four, three, two, one. Prepare to release the power button. Release the power button and continue to hold the home button. This is going into DFU mode, guys. I've never done this before. If you can hear, Windows is making noises. Alright, guys. Okay, waiting for custom firmware. Now, on here it says if you have the waiting for custom firmware on your device, you may restore to custom firmware. It says no if you get ever 2003 in iTunes after extracting, just unplug slash replug in to, and do it again. So, what we're going to do here is in Windows, open up iTunes. So, I'm just going to click start, all programs and then iTunes this is iTunes 10 by the way you need iTunes 10 took a while alright now here's what you're going to do the restore button you're going to press the shift key and then hit restore and this box will come up so now you're going to locate that custom firmware now I saved mine to the desktop so there it is snow breeze bleh, 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 bleh. I have a touch custom uh, firmware, whatever it is, and I'm just going to hit open. And now we're going to get ready to restore. So I'm just going to move my camera over here so you could take a look at the iPod itself. I'm going to lay down a nice microfiber to protect my aluminum because I'm very anal about my MacBook Pro. You just sit back, relax, and enjoy the software update. Okay guys, so we have successfully restored, and let's check out the jailbreak. Okay, so, um, looks like I'm going to have to restore from backup here on my computer. It says, restore iPod from backup, which is what I'm going to do to get my data back on there. But, um, yes, this is 4.1. There's my multitasking bar down there. There's Game Center up there. Wait for it to load a little bit. Okay, got to join my Wi-Fi network. All sorts of messages and stuff. Uh, to prove to you that my network connection does work, this is fully functioning, this is safe, and uh, no warnings like the other jailbreak was, so I'm just going to find my Wi-Fi network and type in my password here. Okay, there we go. So now let's go on Safari. And let's load up Apple.com. Oh, hasn't found my network yet. Gotta wait for the router. Okay, so there we go. Finally got the router. Uh, sorry about that, guys. 
like Steve Jobs issues, like I said. Um, so there we go, we're loading our network connections, and uh, that's all good. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to favorite, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Guys, one more thing uh, before I leave is I did not load up Cydia for you guys. Um, yeah, outro fail, so I'm just going to load that up for you guys to prove to you even further that this is indeed a real jailbreak. I took my iPad off my tripod, so sorry if it's a little shaky. I'm just going to say reorganizing will automatically close when done. Okay, it looks like we're respringing. Alright, so let's go back up. And developer, no filters, loading data. Oh my god, Cydia. Okay, so there's Cydia, you guys. And the next thing I want to show you that I also forgot to show you is that I could power down my iPod. A lot of users have been saying I can't power down my iDevice. So, slide the power off. Look, it's off guys. It's off and I'm going to unplug it. One handedly. Oops. Okay. Look, off. Now I'm going to turn it back on. It's magic. <laughs> Not really guys. Okay, now I'm going to do the full outro. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to favorite, comment, rate, subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. We'll